the Mi A1 was a runaway hit. It was our pick in the segment for a while. And now it just seems out of stock all the time. Usually when a phone goes out of stock for a while, there's a good chance that a successor is in the works. The Mi A2, actually the Mi A1 2018 since A1 stood for Android 1 and A2 doesn't make sense. But then again, phone naming hasn't made sense. It doesn't necessarily make sense all the time. So I don't know what Xiaomi is going to call it. Mi A1 2018, Mi A2, Mi whatever. Anyway, we have some info on that phone. And let's get to it in this video. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech. And before we begin, here's a card to our latest giveaway. I'll also be leaving a direct link in the description below. And while you're down there, do click that bell icon to get notified every time a new video goes live on C4E Tech. Let's now get started. The Mi A1, Xiaomi's first attempt at an Android 1 device, was basically a Mi 5X with stock Android. And now we've got info on the Mi 6X. So this might just about be the next Mi A1. So what do we know about the Mi 6X? Well, pictures clearly reveal a metal back and dual cameras. We love the cameras on the Mi 5X, Mi A1, and are glad to see that the successor still retains dual cameras. But this time around, it's got a vertical setup. We've seen Xiaomi do this in the past with both the Redmi Note 5 Pro and the Mi Mix 2S, so it's not surprising. While we don't have a lot of info on the camera's internals, we can expect it to be much better. Xiaomi did put in some serious optics with the A1. So overall, you know, cosmetically, the back looks quite a bit Redmi Note 5 Pro-ish, except for the antenna lines. Now the next major change is with the display. The A1 successor now gets uh, the 2018 treatment with a 5.99 inch Full HD Plus IPS LCD display, meaning an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Rounding off the leaks, we have the dimensions 158.88 millimeters by 75.54 millimeters and a thickness of 7.3 millimeters. Now before you get too excited about how Xiaomi's managed to fit in a larger screen at almost the same overall footprint, remember the capacitive keys are now gone and the battery capacity has actually dropped from 3080mAh to 2910mAh. With a bigger screen and probably a more powerful processor inside, lower battery capacity does not seem, does not feel like a great idea. Now, as far as the SoC goes, there are two lines of rumors. One indicates this phone to be powered by the Snapdragon 636. There is some logic behind this since the Mi 5X shared the same processor as the Redmi Note 4. And so it is logical to assume the Mi A1 2K18 or the Mi A2 shares the same internals as the Redmi Note 5. And by Redmi Note 5, I don't mean the Redmi 5 Plus masquerading as a Redmi Note 5 in India, but rather the real Redmi Note 5 in China, the one that's called the Redmi Note 5 Pro in India, and hence the 636. Another line of rumors indicate that this phone might not be the Mi 6X at all. Instead, it might be the Mi 6C. The Mi 5C came with the Surge S1 processor and that might mean that we see this, we see the Surge S2 here. The Surge S2 is an octa-core chip with 4 A73s and 4 A53 cores. It's built on the 16 nanometer process and has uh, the Mali G71 MP8 handling GPU duties. It should be really powerful, even more so than the 636 on paper at least. So now, which of these two would you actually prefer? Snapdragon 636 or the Surge S2? Here's a poll, let us know. So, with regards to software, the 6X should run on MIUI 9 on top of Oreo, while the A variant would, of course, come with stock Android, just like the A1, that's the Android one, right? And as far as pricing goes, we expect it to be more or less similar to the Mi A1. Now look at the Redmi, Redmi Note, and the Mi Mix lines. Xiaomi's not really hiking prices this year. Everything's almost the same, give or take a thousand rupees. So around the 15K mark is where I expect this one to land. But as always, take everything with a grain of salt since rumors are mostly just that, rumors. So are you looking forward to the next Mi A1? Let us know in the comments below. And that's it for this quick video. If you disliked it, you know what to do. If you liked it, you know what to do. And of course, subscribe to C4E Tech and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our daily content. So thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, this year is Ash. You've been watching C4E Tech and I'm signing off. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.